Hello and welcome to another episode of Historically Marked. This is a Cemeteries with Markers edition. I am in Evergreen Cemetery in Chester, Illinois. Very historical. Dates back to long ways. And two important Illinois politicians, I'm talking about dating to the beginnings of the state, are buried here. As well as an inspiration, actually two inspirations for cartoon characters from, you guessed it, Popeye. But um, one of them I was able to find. The other was like kind of finding a needle in a haystack. I'll explain more on that later. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Bond Monument, which is just right behind me, and um, the graves and historical markers of these two politicians. So here we go. Alright, so the first person we're going to learn about is Governor Shadrach Bond, the first governor of Illinois right when it attained statehood in 1818. Alright, here we go. Was born November 24, 1773 in Fredericktown, Maryland. He came to Illinois in 1794 and farmed at New Design. In 1805, he was elected to the Indiana Territorial Assembly, where he was an instrumental in creating the Illinois and Indiana boundaries. Bond was elected to Congress in 1812 as the first territorial delegate from Illinois. <laughs> he served in both the 12th and 13th Congresses. In 1818, Bond was elected governor. During his term, the capital was moved from Kaskaskia to Vand Vandalia and a state banking system was established. Erected by the Chester Women's Club and the Illinois State Historical Society in 1979. So here's a little bandstand erected in his honor we're going to go over there in a minute which is the governor bond monument well, i thought i'd go up to new heights on this um, cemetery as you can see there's plenty of land left in the cemetery so anybody who wants to be buried here there's no uh, shortage of plots and just a couple things worth noting shadrach bond senior yes his father um did live here in illinois um, before it became a state but um he helped organize monroe county and he is actually buried there and um, bond county in illinois which is where greenville and pocahontas and many other small towns are there but that of course was named in governor shadrach bond's honor all right now we're going to go to the monument and now here is the bond monument we're gonna walk around it a little bit. This was placed here in 1883 in memory of Shadrach Bond, the first governor of the state of Illinois. On the left side it says, Governor Bond filled many offices of trust and importance, all with integrity and honor. Well said. Okay, this one's a little hard to read here. In recognition of his valuable public service, this monument was erected by the state in 1883. Okay. And on the right side it says, born at Fredericktown, Maryland, November 24th, 1778. Died at his residence near Kaskaskia, April 12th, 1832. Over here is a Grant bench that was a portion of the original monument destroyed in a 2008 storm. And just right over here is a historical marker about Elias Kent Kane. Architect of the state's first constitution was born in New York in 1794. Kane studied law and began his practice in Tennessee in 1814. He moved to Kaskaskia where he was appointed a judge of the Illinois Territory. Active in politics in 1818, Kane was a delegate to the first state constitutional convention. He dominated the convention which framed a constitution that allowed the retention of slavery to many C and N words. Governor Shadrach Bond appointed Kane as the first Secretary of State. A Jacksonian Democrat, Kane was elected to the United States Senate in 1824, where he served until his death in 1835. And these are the sponsors. This is, of course, an Illinois State Historical Society one that was erected here in 1986. This here is the final resting place. So Kane's body was originally buried in his family farm here in Randolph County. However, due to, de due to deterioration, there was a campaign that was led by local funeral director Michael McClure, 
who was also of course in charge of the Popeye statues but um, it was um, intended to have his family's body reinterred here at Evergreen Cemetery. In 1984 he was intentionally placed here across from his former political opponent. <laughs> and one thing left in his legacy is um, Kane County which is um, much north of here in Illinois was named after him so here's his military stone and then here's the monument and a very special thanks to the very nice cemetery staff and maintenance crew they were able to help me find Dora Pascal's grave and yes she is important because she was the inspiration for olive oil Popeye's girlfriend as it says right here <laughs> Oh man, imagine having a cartoon character on your gravestone. That's just <laughs> crazy as it is. And I'll show you the front of the stone too. As it says here, it was donated by the Chester Eagles Airy 3252. Nice. And here's kind of a unusual stone. I shouldn't say unusual, but this one talks about a scholarship. I know. But here is um, the resting place for Paula Jean Evans, who lived from 1909 to 2002. It says here, found in 2002, the Thomas R. and Pauline G. Evans Scholarship is awarded annually to a graduating senior of Chester High School. The scholarship is both a need and merit-based scholarship. Preferences is given to a uh, student who is attending Washington University in St. Louis and studying business or finance. The award is for a maximum of four years, provided that all the continuation criteria are met. Okay, interesting. Also buried here is J. William Schuchert. Unfortunately, like I said, um, the cemetery is very big and unfortunately none of the staff was able to help me find it. I even tried looking it up online. Picture didn't really quite help me, but um, the reason this guy was so important is he was the inspiration for Wimpy character in Popeye's um, cartoon. Um, he was the guy who um, Elsie Seeger worked for at the Opera House. And he loved hamburgers just like um, <laughs> the character Wimpy. So I thought it was worth noting that he's buried here. Maybe somebody can find it for me. But um, anywho. Thanks for tuning in to this Cemeteries with Markers edition of Historically Marked. I am Jason in Chester, Illinois, signing off.